Hey guys, Jeff here, and today we are celebrating Charles Watts with his 400 subscriber milestone, where he asked us to share other than pops. And I thought about it, and I was looking around, and I realized that one of the things that I love about Locksport is the way that I can bring so many of my hobbies together around Locksport. Case in point. I have been dabbling, and I stay very strongly with the idea of only dabbling with woodworking. And as such, one of the things I enjoy doing is trying to figure out what's some stuff I can make out of scraps, knowing that I like free and cheap, but what can I make out of scraps for Locksport? And so, a long while ago, I showed a uh, quick and dirty pick holder, pick stand, from a 2x4. Not that long ago, I showed how you could make a core holder, but recently I've been getting to play with more of the tools in the uh, shop class at school where I teach and also digging through their scrap pile and they've got a table saw. Well, I realized that with a table saw, you can make a very quick and easy poker chip holder. Um, need to play with it a little bit more to get the sizing right, but I mean, it does the job. Quick side note, I want to thank Lockchuck for 3D printing the coin that is my channel logo. That side's harder to see with the PMP for poor man's picking. But along with the shop class, um, I also made a hand clamp a la Tinny from long ago, which definitely makes kicks a lot easier to hold. Um, I'm also always looking for just little scraps and things I can do. They got a CNC plasma cutter at school, and they had to test it by running these little circles. And I realized, hey, those make some very satisfying little metal coins. I've actually been carrying this one and fidgeting with it throughout the day. But it was able to make a little channel coin for me. Jeff and Thing locks. Anyways, other things that I enjoy because obviously it's always on my mind. I've had a few videos that aren't lock related where I talk about nail binding, where I uh, make the needles and I use the needles, and I realize this has lock sport applications. Um, I've talked before about having a plastic Ziploc bag that I carry my nicer padlocks in when I'm carrying them around to practice, but I realized a bag like this, they're thick, they're going to prevent scratching, they're going to prevent some with uh, dings, and so I can carry around the one and only logo lock that I have. Shout out to Albert, Albert LaBelle. But I don't have to worry about messing that up if I'm carrying it around in a little bag like that. Uses up some of my scrap yarn, a chance to practice a little bit more nail binding, and it works for lock sport. Similarly, I've made this little bag. I really love this one with the drawstring and everything. And I'm using it as I create a new challenge lock, hopefully. But that way we can have just a little bit more of an elegant presentation for that. But wait, there's more. As many of you have probably noticed, I also enjoy music. And I have had one opportunity so far to uh, to incorporate music into Locksport. I believe it was Knox Locks who worked up some lyrics for us and created this song for Picking Time. Picking time, none of the pigs are finding. I bet I am overset. Picking time, ease up on the tension. Maybe this time it will obey. Now, unless you caught it on Picking Time, I doubt that you've actually seen that song before. Maybe I need to upload the full thing at some point. 
but I figured this is just a way to share the way all of our hobbies, woodworking, fiber craft, music, anything else you can imagine, it can all come around into lock sport because let's face it, some of us can just be a little uh, overly focused on lock sport. Is that a thing? Can we be overly focused? I don't know. Anyways, again, congratulations. Congratulations to Charles Watt on yet another milestone, and I know that you've reached another one, so I'm going to have to catch up on that. Looking forward to seeing uh, everyone else's other than Pops. Make sure to check out Charles Watt if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you.